welcome to this week's Hymn of the Week. This week we have 684, Creating God, Your Fingers Trace. This is a paraphrase, or it's, I wouldn't say exactly a paraphrase, but it includes a lot of the text of Psalm 148. So we're still covering hymns that are based on the Psalms. What's interesting about this, the text is by Jeffrey Rothorn. He was a teacher at Yale Divinity School. Uh, may still be teaching there, actually. I don't, I'm not sure about that. Uh, but it was composed in 1974, and he was teaching a class on contemporary worship, and part of the project was to compose a text based on a psalm. So what he did is he assigned it, but he never did it before himself. So he figured it would probably be a good idea for him to try it as well. And if you look at the text, it's a very creative text, it includes some interesting features. The first thing was he wanted to use the word billion. So that's why you see billion in uh, verse 4. He also wanted active words about what the Trinity is doing, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So he opens these verses with creating, sustaining, redeeming, indwelling. And then he also wanted to include a text that would have some awe and wonder in it. So if we look in verse 2 where it says, Let waters fragile blend with air, enabling life proclaim your care. So I think that was the idea behind that. Now what was the idea behind selecting Southern Harmony and the Tuna Prospect? Well, I thought about that for a while, um, and that's why I've suggested playing this on the piano. Because it's set in a pentatonic scale, five steps. <laughs> FGA, these are the notes that are being used for this hymn. And so E and, e and B are, or E and B flat are not really being used that much. Um, in this arrangement, they are included every now and then. But generally, it's creating that pentatonic scale. The other thing that's interesting is when we get towards the middle is uh, we have this pattern. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, very typical pattern. But then in the middle, we have what is called the Scottish snap. It reverses it. So long, short, short, long. And that's where actually the text becomes interesting or where it, it challenges us a bit. I, I think the text is interesting in the beginning. But here in that spot, let peace descend like a dove. Let waters fragile blend with air, with sun and moon and stars and light. So I think it goes with the text. So I really like the way this is um, matched, uh, the text with the tune. And what I'm going to do on the piano here is play just as written for one and two. There's some unorthodox intervals here. We have what we call an F chord here, but with that second inversion or the C, the top note being of in the bottom, which is sort of at least when I went to school writing him to be, it was almost considered illegal. So I find that interesting that that's how we start the hymn, and it's creating God, sustaining God. So that's why I chose to put this on the piano, because the percussive qualities of the piano bring out that much more than the organ would. And uh, when we get to verse 3, redeeming God, I will change the harmony, improvise a harmony that really hopefully points towards more of the theme of redemption. And in the last verse, I'll play the theme in octaves as it is indwelling God, so that it really drives home the concept that God is with us uh, above, below, and everywhere. So here we go. Creating God, your fingers trace. <laughs> 